there is almost nothing worse than an uncomfortable work environment. No, I'm not talking about the coworker who's always looking over your shoulder, but the physical environment. Whether it's too hot or too cold, an uncomfortable work environment can be a huge distraction. Also, studies have shown that a comfortable work environment leads to better productivity. Today, we're going to use SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation HVAC module to help a few of our staff in the office stay comfortable and productive. Let's take flow simulation to the next level. This office consists of five employees, James, Fred, Craig, Cameron, and Tim. A few of them have complained about the office being a bit too cold, so we'll use flow simulation to discover why and what we can do about it. The HVAC module of flow simulation has an improved radiation definition called discrete ordinance. This will help us more accurately model the radiative heat transfer coming in through the large south-facing windows. We're going to tell flow simulation we're in Denver in the middle of the summer just to analyze the extremes for our office. With the date, time, and location entered, flow simulation will take care of the rest, including tracking the sun through the sky in time-dependent studies. Yeah, it can do that. The discrete ordinance model also allows for absorption of some of the radiation into the transparent glass, something the base flow simulation package cannot do. From here, we'll set up the boundary conditions, environmental pressure for the doorway, and a couple of inlet flows for the HVAC system in the ceiling. Once set up with proper heat generation rates and goals, we can run the analysis. Checking in on our coworkers, looks like the air around everyone is at least in range of what I would think is comfortable, but it's hard to know for sure. Luckily, the HVAC module can help us with that as well. So, how do we define a comfortable environment? The ISO standard 7730 dictates objective measurements of environmental comfort, percentage mean vote, or PMV, and predicted percent dissatisfied, or PPD. These factor in variables like airspeed, humidity, temperature, and others, and can be calculated by the HVAC module by simply checking a few buttons. For us, we'll have them calculated throughout the workday. Checking in on our coworkers again, it looks like only Tim and Fred have had any time in the desired PMV range, and only after the sun rises in the sky later in the workday. From this, we can conclude there's a bit too much cold air being forced into the room, so we can adjust the airflow coming in accordingly. Now that we've examined physical comfort, let's take a look at some other capabilities. Every office has that guy. You know, the one who microwaves fish for lunch? Poor Tim's always late, so he has to sit by the microwave. But we can use the tracer study included with the HVAC module to track the concentration of this foul stench in the office to keep our inhabitants' nostrils from curdling. We simply enter the material being released, where it's released from, and what the flow rate is, and through the magic of video, we can see how the stench propagates through the room. Looks like everyone's noses should be safe. This is an essential functionality to any environment with toxic off-gassing or other airborne hazards. So, there it is. Using the HVAC module for flow simulation, we were able to accurately map radiant heat transfer through transparent media. We validated the comfort and the inhabitants of our office, and we verified the distribution and level of toxins in our office as well. There's so much more that can be accomplished with this module, including local air quality indices and extra fan curves to the flow default libraries. For more information regarding the HVAC module or any other SOLIDWORKS inquiries, reach out to your local CATI representative today.